Hi, uh, welcome everyone to our paper presentation. My name is Lakshan Anuranjan, studied electrical power engineering at the University of Southeastern Norway. And currently I'm working at a multi consult in Oslo as a consultant. Uh, and Dietmar Winkler is the author, author who worked on this paper. He is working at the University of Southeastern Norway as a lecturer in the Department of Electrical Power Engineering. This paper is about developing power protective limiters for a hydropower controller in Modelica. Over the years, power demand continuously. Uh, uh, since the world is investing into, uh, into a sustainable development, the focus on the renewable energy technology has been increased immense. But uh, due to ever increasing amount of unregulated renewable energy such as wind, solar and tidal power, uh, the operation of electrical power plants has become more and more challenging due to uh, more dynamic operation of uh, operation pattern in order to keep the voltage quality within the limits of what uh, electrical network regulators allow. Therefore, there is a need for power tools that allow for uh, a better and more as accurate uh, simulation of the operation uh, of an electrical power plant. And this paper presents develop, uh, development of protective limiters uh, as used in a typical hydropower controller. Uh, the field current, uh, there are uh, presented four conventional limiters in this paper. And uh, the first one, field current over limiter that protects the generator from overheating uh, due to the prolonged uh, over uh, field current, uh, field over current. Um, and uh, the second one, stator current under limiter that helps to prevent operating beyond the small signal uh, stability limit of um, synchronous generator, which could uh, lead to loss of synchronism. And uh, it also prevents uh, loss of uh, excitation relays from operating uh, during the under excitation region. Um, and also, uh, it prevents overheating in stator end region of synchronous generator. Uh, the third one, the stator current limiter that's used to limit the high uh, stator current uh, that causes overheating of stator winding. And Wolfsperhatch uh, limiter uh, protects the generator co generator's core and the step up transformer. Uh, <coughs> from the significant overheating and damage due to excessive magnetic flux by increasing the voltage. And uh, field current over limiter and static current under limiter uh, and static current limiters uh, models are a model based on uh, IEEE standard, while the Wolfsburg Hatch limiters model uh, limiter model is modeled based on uh, power system stability and uh, control book from the Prabhak uh, Yeah, here's the test setup that shows overview of components and how they are interacts with uh, the excitation system. Uh, the excitation system type SD70 is automatically regulated uh, automatically regulates uh, the excitation by measuring the, the the terminal voltage in order to keep the terminal voltage within the the limit or preset value. As you can see uh, here, uh, the field current over excitation limiter and the set current under excitation limiters are uh, interacts with um, interacts at uh, takeover junction uh, inputs of the excitation system that override the control signal of PID control in the excitation system. While a stator current limiter and volts per hatch limiters output are, uh, as you guess, these 
outputs are added to added with uh, the measured terminal voltage signal in order to vary the uh, the the reference uh, of the PID control in the excitation system. Um, additionally, there are added uh, logical switch at the output of the limiters to enable or disable the uh, control signal of the limiters. And I have chosen some of the simulation results to present in this paper uh, due to the time restriction. Yes, uh, here uh, I'm presenting the simulation results of the field current over extension limiter. And this, the first graph here uh, depicts the generator field current in per unit uh, with respect to time in second, uh, seconds. And um, the, the, the plot here uh, depicts the output signal from the field current over extension limiter. And here's the bone signal, uh, where the, the, the red one, uh, which is uh, the um, uh, bone signal that controls the output of this limiter, uh, that if, meaning that if the, this bone signal is false, meaning that the output is disabled, and when this uh, red uh, bone signal is true, meaning that the output of this limiter is enabled. And the blue is uh, basically a uh, bone signal of uh, status uh, of circuit breaker, basically. Uh, meaning that when the, this blue signal is uh, uh, true, meaning that circuit breaker is in closed position, when the, this blue signal, uh, blue signal, blue one is in uh, false, meaning that circuit breaker is in open position. So initially, the field current is set to higher than the preset value. Uh, and at the 1100 second, the output of this limiter is getting enabled. And thereby, the field current is reduced. reduced. Uh, and at 2500 seconds, uh, the circuit breaker trips, uh, meaning it's open ups. Uh, th then the the limiters reduce the field current to a defined value, and overall the results match the expect uh, behavior. Yeah, here present uh, uh, I'm presenting the results from the set current unrestricted limiter. Uh, test. Um, uh, yeah, the the first one, uh, first graph uh, is uh, depicts the generator active power output in per unit uh, with respect to time in seconds, and uh, this this graph is uh, presents present, uh, generator reactive current output. Uh, in per unit, and this uh, limiter's output signal, and here's the bone signal that enable or disable the output of the logic, uh, the the limiter. I mean, uh, uh, so basically, when this is true, the signal is true, meaning that the output is enabled, and when the signal is false, means that uh, output is uh, disabled. So initially, the reactive current is uh, set to lower than the preset value of the limiter. Uh, so when the output of the limiter uh, is disabled uh, until uh, 1,800 second, the control signal uh, is increased uh, until the maximum preset value. When the output of this limiter is reached, uh, is enabled, and the reactive current increases and stabilizes to uh, at the minimum acceptable predefined uh, reactive current, uh, and also you can see that the the output signal 
of this limiter also reduced, uh, which is reasonable here. And this uh, simulation uh, results is uh, the test results of the Wolf's Bahatch limiter. And the first graph depicts the generator terminal voltage in per unit with respect time in seconds. And uh, the second one here is the control or output signal from the limiter. And this is a bone signal which uh, controls the output of the limiter. And here's the, here's the frequency change in hash with respect to time. Uh, in this setup, uh, we have used ramp logic as a frequency to regulate the frequency. Um, and uh, the output of this limiter is enabled at 800 seconds. And uh, as you can see, there is no changes uh, since the ratio between the voltage and the frequency within the limits. When the frequency reduces after 1800 seconds, the limiters, limiter uh, reduce the voltage, which is reasonable. To conclude our work, all the models have been modeled with the fundamental functionality uh, with some added features, but still there's room for further development. Uh, the overall behavior of the, the models was reasonable and the models are mainly tested to verify the performance with the theoretical behavior. But the results needs to be compared with the measurement data to verify the model's performance. As a future work, a self-reset function needs to be added to uh, the PID control to avoid sudden changes in the control signal. Um, and more importantly, a more complex grid should be properly uh, modeled to avoid, uh, to, to simulate uh, and uh, examine the uh, performance of the excitation control system model. And uh, the lastly, uh, similar tests should be performed, uh, which I mean, uh, like this test uh, which I have performed in the this paper should be performed in the power plant in order to verify the model behavior, models behavior. And uh, thank you for your attention.